Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. I am super excited to have you here with me today and welcome if you are new. I'm so glad to have you here. Today I am excited because I finally invested in a foil transfer kit. Now I will tell you a little bit about my purchase experience with that because it is a great um, little story, but I'm going to be using the Cricut Joy foil transfer kit and there is a foil transfer kit for the Maker and Explore series. So just letting you know that there are two different kits in case you want to um, check those out for yourself. So we're going to be using this today. I did play around with it a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and unbox it with you so that you can see from start to finish everything that's going on. I also purchased some extra foil transfer sheets. You do get foil transfer sheets in the package, but I went ahead and purchased some extra ones because I just knew that I would want to work on this more and more. You can't get the foil, to my understanding, you can get the foil sheets in bigger sizes, but I just went ahead and purchased these two little small packs to go with my transfer kit. Some of the other things that you'll need for a project like this is we are gonna use our joy mat. And then I'm uh, what I want to do today is I want to make with you some gift tags. So here I have some chalkboard tags and these I just purchased at the Dollar Tree. This is a small piece of Cricut uh, sticker paper and I have cut it down to about three by four and a half. And what I want to do with this particular uh, item is I want to make some envelope stickers. I would like to do a cutaway card and I would like to show you how to foil your envelopes. Last few tools that you would need would be a brayer, um, some adhesive for your cards. Of course I have a, a weeding tool to help poke out any little things in the cutaway. And then I always have a measuring tape, scissors, and a true control knife at handy when I'm doing any of my crafts. So let's go ahead and talk about the actual foil transfer kit itself. Okay, so these I purchased extra. They do not come with the kit. And like I said, this is for the Cricut Joy. You can get one for the Maker and Explore series. So here's the funny story. I was perusing online and decided to check out some stuff and see what had Michaels had going on and what kind of sales. And I noticed in my Michaels app that I had a $15 voucher, which was fantastic. I was so excited. That's like free money, right? So I decided to see how much a foil transfer kit was at Michaels. And I know that you can buy these at Walmart, um, walmart.com, Amazon, you can buy them at Hobby Lobby, like you can really get these kind of anywhere, even at Cricut. So I like to make big purchases like this when I have some coupons or, well not coupons, but when I have some gift cards, etc. So anyway, um, if you are a teacher, historically Michaels has always given 15% off well, now they have increased their teacher discount to 20%. If you have not already signed up for the Michaels teacher discount, you need to get your school ID and run to Michaels and take care of that very quickly. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and purchase this Cricut, um, Cricut tools, materials, supplies, etc., machines. You cannot use coupons at Michaels for those things, but I did receive my teacher discount on this. So I got a great deal. I got this on uh, a 20% discount for my teacher badge, and then I had my $15 um, credit voucher. So this was really quite inexpensive, which then prompted me to turn right around and use up all of that discount, etc with the foil transfer sheets. So I feel like I kind of got these for free. So when you open this package, 
And like I said before, I did actually already play around with this just to test it out and see what I was doing. So you will get in your package, you will get a little booklet on how, what everything is, how it works, how to use it, etc. You will get a package of silver and gold foil sheets. Um, it's 12 sheets, so I believe it's like six of each color. And then you also get these little um, adhesive sticker strips. This is what's going to help you make sure that your foil is in place and tight and smooth. So we will be using those. And then you'll have this here. So this is the foil housing. Have your, your foil housing. Okay, so it's kind of like your blade. And then you have your foil tip. And this is actually the medium tip. I don't know if you can see. There are two little bitty, or maybe I can't get it to autofocus right now, but there are two lines here. So this is a medium tip. If you do the Maker and Explore series foil transfer kit, you'll get three of these. One will have one line for fine tip two lines on the second one, that's medium, and then you'll have a third tip with three lines, and that will be for bold. But the joy just comes with the one medium. You will depress this plunger right here like this, and just stick this up in there. You'll feel it click, it's like magnetic, it just kind of draws it up in there, and then this is ready to go. So. What will happen is in your joy, when your design space prompts you, you will replace your cutting blade with your foil um, transfer tip. Okay, the so next thing I want to talk to you about is my practice project. This is not a bad job, but what I noticed is the next time I do foiling, um, I don't know if it was the paper. I don't know if it was user error on my part, but there are a couple of little places here and there where the foil didn't quite transfer. Now, um, I don't want to trash this card, so I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna look in my craft stash and I'm gonna find a silver glitter pen and, or yeah, a silver glitter pen, and I'll just fill in a couple of little, like at least on the Mary and the Christmas, I'm not so concerned about the snowflakes, but then this card is still a good card to have. And this is in Design Space. Um, what I've done is I've linked the file for Design Space down in the description. Okay, so if you go into the description, not only will you see a list of all the supplies that I'm using today, but I will have a link to the Design Space file where all of today's projects are in one file. This um, is a regular card. So this is an A2 size card. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. This blue panel is three and a half wide and 4.75 tall. And that allowed me to have a really big margin around. And then it it foils it and then it does the cutaway. So underneath the blue panel, I just have some white um, cardstock. It's kind of textured. It's really hard for you to see on the screen. This is a blue envelope and I practiced putting foil on here and there's a couple things I learned about that. So um, I don't know if I'm going to use this envelope simply because this is so wonky out of place, but um, I don't know, I might get a jip of my little glitter pen and just write like Merry Christmas or let it snow down here and then it might not look as awkward and I could still use it. So this was my practice project and overall I learned a lot of things and I'm, I'm actually pleased with how this turned out and it allowed me to figure some things out with my machine, my design space and my materials. Go ahead and uh, head over to Design Space and I'll show you the projects that we're doing today and then some of the little things that you'll need to hide before you make them yourself. But again, don't forget I am linking this Design Space file down in the description for you.
Okay, here in Design Space, I have quite a few things going on. And I, instead of having um, three or four different files in Design Space and linking all of them into the description, I decided just to put everything on one canvas for you. But I do need to tell you some information about each one of these little projects so that you will understand how it's created and what you need to do when you actually go to your make screen. So first of all, I am using my joy today. If you are going to use your maker or explore series machines, you would need to change that up here. And so the first thing here is I have what I call the fuchsia tag. It's over here in my layers panel. It says fuchsia tag. Now I have a large black um, circle cardstock tag. The other thing is in this Merry Christmas ornament, and I'm actually going to go ahead and hide these now, and I'm going to leave them hidden. Okay, so this is what it'll look like when you actually are in there. And let me hide this piece there. Okay, there we go. So I have hidden all of the extraneous things. Really didn't want to quite delete them in case you want all of the pieces. So I will probably just leave them hidden. So when you open it, it will look like this. But if you need a small hole cut in the top of your tag, you would want to make sure that's visible. The Merry Christmas design right here. That is what we will be foil to the make screen. Um, I'm probably going to be hiding the circle. You need the machine to cut your larger circle or your circle little hole, whatever you need it to cut, you can make sure that those things are visible. The next tag I have, I called it the gold ornament tag. When you open that layers panel, I have several things. First of all, I have a um, white cardstock tag. So both of these things you will need to hide before you cut if you're using pre, um, prefabricated tags. If you need your machine to cut the tags for you, you would want to leave those on. Then I have the foil image. So that's the skull. Those are a bunch of ornaments. I just found this in Design Space as well. And then this is the two and the from, and these are the kickball font. Another thing I just thought of is a lot of these designs are a draw design, okay? And so you do have to come up here to your operation menu, and you want to make sure that anything you want to be foiled, you need to click on that particular little image or writing, and you want to select foil. And then you can always come up here and change your color. There's our two tags. Then with the little piece of sticker paper, now this is the printing cut sticker paper that you would, you know, use with your Maker and Explore series or your Joy Extra. And what I did is I just cut a piece of it off. We're going to place it on our mat. And then as far as the envelope stickers, I went into Design Space and found three little images. So I have this Kringle Toy Stop, December 25th. I have a Merry Christmas with some stars and circles. And then I have a snowflake. In fact, this snowflake matches the one on this blue envelope over here. So I went into my shapes panel and I just grabbed three circles. And you'll see those here. The three circles, they are sized at one and a quarter each. And then the foil um, element is layered on top and centered already. I have them aligned top and bottom. I have the foil elements centered on each circle. And I have these circles distributed horizontally. So we'll cut out some envelope stickers. Okay, so this blue snowflake card right here. This is the one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And if you need the machine to cut your glitter cardstock for you, you can leave that in here. I 
just used my paper trimmer, so I hid that particular element. Then as far as the other two pieces, you have the snowflake cutout. So this particular panel here is three and a half by 4.75, and it cuts out the snowflake element. And then the foil piece is all of this right here, this Merry Christmas and that is the foiling part. So again, your machine will do the foiling first, just like when it, we do the writing and then the cutting, it will do the foiling first and then the cutting. So these are attached. You'll see that little paper clip right there. So this is going to foil and cut exactly as you see it. You can, of course, resize this to fit your needs. I am gonna go ahead and um, hide that because I do not want to redo that card. Foil um, little element here needs to be placed on the envelope in a particular spot. So I went ahead and allowed this blue square to go to the make screen and then I moved the snowflake into place and then I hid the square. You'll see that when we do this envelope over here. So um, I left that in there for you. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that. So the snowflake envelope and the snowflake card, okay, when you open the file, they will be visible to you, but I'm going to hide them for now. And then we have a Merry Christmas card. Now this is a cutaway card. So as far as the Merry Christmas cutaway card, um, let me hide this green panel right here is just for visualization purposes. I'm going to use green cardstock, but let me hide that. So what you get with cutaway cards is you get two layers here. So I have the um, Merry Christmas. This is what's going to cut, cut on my card panel. And so we'll be using the card mat for this particular piece. Okay, so we'll cut that out. And then the foil is here. So I have the foil layer and I'm just doing gold. I went ahead and left the Merry Christmas cutout part in gold as well. And then again, this green panel here, that definitely want to hide this. And I wrote hide this for you. This is an A2 size, but I have it sized down just a little bit because I don't want it to get too close to the edge of the card. Um, the card edges itself. And then we have our Merry Christmas envelope. So this particular white square is um, 5.75 by four and a quarter. And when we go to the make screen, after I get the Merry Christmas foil piece in place, then I will be hiding that white square. It doesn't need to cut. I just need it for um, placement purposes. You and then the Merry Christmas foil, again, just a little image out of design space. In fact, it was a, um, there was two layers and I got rid of the cut layer and left just the draw layer. And then I turned it into foil and I chose green because that will match the card. Let's go to the make screen and see how all of this looks. Okay, in the mix screen, everything's gonna look like a little crazy. So the first thing I need to do is, for some reason, my joy mats always default to the 12 inch mat. So I'm just going through and I'm changing them all to six and a half. Okay. And so let's just go through each of the mats and get everything the way it needs to go. Okay, first things first, I am going to move this Merry Christmas foil element, the green one, click on those three dots, hit move, and then remember we want to put it on an envelope. So I'm going to go to that mat, hit confirm, and I am going to turn it 90 degrees counterclockwise. And I'm gonna move it just down here in this little corner of my envelope. I want to click on the white square, three little dots, and I wanna hide that. This is going to be my envelope, and I don't need the envelope to actually cut. Okay, let's go back to the first mat. Now these are the two different tags, and I'm actually gonna go ahead, just because I'm doing foil, and I wanna 
keep everything um, I just want to keep everything neat and in the way it needs to be so all I did was I moved one of the tags okay to a different mat and so when I go back up here all right this is the gold foil for that tag now I need to go find the actual tag itself found it on mat 3 I'm going to hit move object and I'm going to put it up here on my first mat and always make your mat bigger if you need to see where everything is I need my my um, tag to be in a spot where I can easily line it up so I'm going to move the bottom corner of my tag to the to the spot where it says three and five where those two come together is where I'm going to place the lower right corner of my tag and then I'm just going to move this down into place right here okay so when I zoom back out there's my tag it's going to look like that I'm going to place the tag itself in that spot where the three and the five to come together so now I'm going to click on the white tag itself and I'm going to hide that just leaving the foil. At number three. Now this one is ready to go exactly the way it is. I'm just going to bring it to the top and this is going to be the sticker paper. I'm going to let it foil these particular elements and then it will cut my circle for me. Or this is my black tag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that so that the that the bottom of the circle is on the four, okay, and that the right side of the circle is at the four. I'm going to go back and find that Merry Christmas piece. I'm going to go to move. I probably should have moved it to the black circle to begin with. And then I'm going to just move this into place. I think that looks good. Everything is on that circle. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the circle itself. Now I just gotta remember that the circle has gotta line up at the four by four, okay? But I'm gonna hide the circle. So this will be that tag there, ready to go. Our last mat is going to be the cutaway. Now this is a little hard to tell. You can kind of see just ever so very slightly on the white grid lines, you can see some gold um, looks like speckles that's the gold foiling and then the Merry Christmas cutout now if you really wanted to make sure that it was you know um, visible we could actually just move we're gonna go to a new um, we can go to a new mat and just change it to a white mat the gold mat here number five will definitely be gone but you can now see where this is i just moved it to a white mat you can see the gold foiling and then you can see the cutaway and everything is exactly the way that one needs to be and i go to cut these um, i will be selecting the various materials but when i do my foil pressure i want i'm going to actually choose more pressure this time and see if that does a better job than the default pressure or i take you back to the overhead camera i'm going to go ahead and click continue my tag card stock it feels a little bit stiffer and well heavier i guess stiffer than the um, light card stock that i have so i think i'm going to go ahead and do I'll just do medium cardstock and I want to do more pressure okay and I'm not going to click on remember material settings because each of these mats is kind of a different thing and I want to be able to select everything as I go so I will load the transfer the foil transfer tool into the clamp I'm going to show you how to load this on your mat so that you do this very, very carefully, and then we will get everything cut out. So let's head over to the overhead camera, and I can show you how to do the mat. So 
The one thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure, if, especially if you're using a pre-cut tag, is that the grommet is facing the correct way. So this is the side that has the little slits, and this is the smooth side. So I am simply going to remove this particular little string. Okay, I'm going to use a piece of clear acetate, and I am going to just kind of put this here and I'm going to have to tape that down which is fine and the reason why I'm doing that is because this particular foil needs to go edge to edge and I don't want to get the foil on the mat and I probably could do a much better job of um, cutting, but for right now, I think this will be okay. I'm just going to get that taped down. This is not something I thought of when I was choosing pre-cut tags. Okay, so that's not going to go anywhere. All right, so I have my acetate here just to protect my mat. You can certainly bypass that. I have my pre-cut tag. I have the foil laid on top of the tag and using the stickers that come with your foil to adhere that down and then I like to run my finger very carefully across the foil so that it's nice and flat and taut and then bring in the sticker because I don't want any like ripples or wrinkles or anything like that okay and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing down here. And then you can, I definitely have only used two pieces of foil um, stickers, but this one, I, because the it's a um, tag and it's kind of substantial, I'm gonna do, try four, make sure that that's good. So here's my tag, and basically we're going to put this in our joy. We're going to trade out the regular blade for the foil transfer tip, just like that. And then we're going to stick this in. And, and then we're going to press go. <laughs> Once your foiling is done, you want to do not move your mat out, but you want to just double check. So I'm just going to lift this. And you can see under there. Okay, I think that did a good job. I'm gonna go ahead and unload this mat. All right, so time for the big reveal. You can reuse these little stickers. So I'm just gonna kind of keep them handy. Again, like I said, I just wanted to err on the side of caution with my mat but you certainly do not have to use acetate on your mat if you don't want to or don't have any. Okay, so this is my gift tag. And so now we have a gift tag and you know, you could always put names here. I just thought I would do glitter pens and um, write the names when I get to that part. Okay, and then it is part of the design that some of these lines are a little faded. So this is just the way it is supposed to look. And I think that did really great. Okay, let's go on to the next. The next one that we're going to do, and I decided to try and have a split screen for you so that we could do things more efficiently is I have my envelope here and I'm going to place that here in my 
corner. Now sometimes it's very helpful to pull this up and take a look at where everything is in design space. So I can see that my envelope, let me turn this around. So I want my envelope to be way down here, really close to that line of six. Then I'm going to come up here and remember I want to um, hide that envelope. So I just kind of, I hit done, I canceled the cut. It doesn't change any of my other settings, but I did need to just go back and hide the envelope. So now the only thing on my um, mat is the foil image. Okay, we're going to click done on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do... Um, I'll just leave it at medium card stock. I am going to use more pressure. I am going to, I'm going to cut my foil need, um, two inches wide and let's go with two inches tall. So here is my envelope and I am just going to Make sure that my envelope does not move. So I'm going to bring back in my painter's tape. This is my foil. And again, be very careful. You, you do not want to get the foil on your mat. You want the foil, the pretty side up. So your shiny, foily side up. Okay, and then I'm going to reuse this little sticker from before. And I'm going to go right along the edge there. Okay. Now that works best for me is I just turn and I just slide my fingers across and I hold it down while I put that other sticker into place. So this foil on the envelope, it's nice and flat. It's perfect. Okay, I'm going to open that up. All right, we've got everything loaded. Okay, we're going to click go and let the foiling begin. All right, that one was super quick. I'm going to go ahead and hit unload and then you can see where that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and it's something I probably should have done is not unload the mat quite yet, but I think it did a really good job. It's very faint, but it does say Merry Christmas. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Our next one is going to be our little Merry Christmas gift tag. And so we are going to take the string off just like last time. And remember that I had said I wanted the uh, circle to line up with the four and the four. So I'm just bringing that in. Okay. And I think I'm going to try it this time without the acetate, simply because I can just tape that down. It doesn't quite go to the top and bottom of the circle. And I'm using this just to make sure that I don't have extra foil. Okay. So next I'm going to place this on my circle, just like that, okay. and then I'm going to again use the sticker, that is a better fit, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to browse all, I'm going to do heavy cardstock this time and see what happens, so the last tag I did medium cardstock. This time I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do heavy cardstock. Okay. 
and I'm noticing that this is a little more purple than it is fuchsia. I can see under here. Okay, I can see under there. All right, we'll go, go ahead and unload. So you can see all the foil. It says Merry Christmas on it. And then on the back side, I would just write like who it is to. All right, so our next thing that we are going to do will be our stickers. Okay, so for our stickers, this is just that cardstock, I'm, I'm sorry, sticker paper. And I'm just gonna place that here in the top corner, like we always do. So I will put that here. Okay, so let's hope that I have my placement correct. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose my material. Let's see, um, what can I choose this time? How about we do deluxe paper adhesive backed because it is a sticker paper. And we'll get this in. And it's a go. Now you can see where this is telling me to not unload my mat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replace this foil transfer tip with our blade and put that in and then we will hit go. Okay, and you can see where I totally forgot to remove the foil. So you do want to remove the foil before you cut. And I apparently am still asleep today. So I have been up since about 3 o'clock today. And oh my goodness, not enough coffee. Okay, so... Here is, here are our stickers. Okay, and then these will just come off just like that. Definitely note to self, remove the foil before you put the cutting blade back in. And all right, there we go. So we have one more thing to do and then we can take a look at all of the results and see how all of our different foiling did on different materials. Okay, so for our last project, we are doing a cutaway card. So what I have here is I have a five and a half by eight and a half piece of paper that I have folded. So this is now four and a quarter. And I'm going to be using my Joy card mat. So I'm just gonna put this in that little pocket right there. Nice and lined up. Get that pressed down really, really well. Okay, and then going to place our foil on top of the card. Again, I don't want it to get down, I don't want the foil to get down here at the very bottom. Okay, get that nice and lined up. You can absolutely use these little pieces of tape several times. Like the, they're, they're um, quite nice. And then I guess when you run out of all of that, you could just use washi tape or painter's tape or 
masking tape. Okay, so our foil is nice and flat and tight across the card. All right, let's look over here. So we're on mat number five, and this is going to foil the card, and then will ask us to replace the foil tip with the blade, and then it will cut all of the things that you see in black. All right, so let's see. Let's do medium cardstock, and I'm gonna do more pressure, okay. And, all right, so you can see loading your tool tip, which I've already done. We've already taped the foil on top of the material, and we're going to load in the machine, and it does tell you that coming up is your fine point blade. I'm just going to change out our tip for our blade and before before I hit go I'm going to remove the foil but I'm not going to remove the mat so just going to pull this up and then I'm just going to gently pull and the adhesive up there will release just like that. Perfect. Okay, and we're good to go again. Okay, then we get to unload this. Okay, so I'm going to move all of this out of the way. We're going to finish up this particular card. Okay, so when you do the cutaway cards, you want to bend your mat just to get a little, and then you want to slide this little spatula tool. You can just slide it up under there and then start sliding and lifting ever so gently. And all of the cutaway pieces, most of them will remain on your mat. And if they come away with the card, you can always uh, use your weeding tool to poke them through. But I'm just going to take my time working around, trying to just gently lift while I slide. All right. And then there are a few elements on here and it will depend on whether or not you want to piece them, but the inside of a couple of these letters and then we have three little dots here that I might use some embellishments for that little, um, little flower. So let's just set that aside for right now. And then this will be my gold cardstock and it's just going to go in here like this now i did not um i don't have like the little insert cuts so i am actually going to glue or you know adhere this down with some of my tape runner and so really i am just going to Grab a pen really fast, and I'm going to go like this along the top and the sides and the bottom, and that will be where my little panel sits. So those will be my boundaries for my glue. I don't want to, you know, get everywhere. So I'm just going to kind of go along, and I'm just putting enough so that the card panel doesn't really go anywhere and there there is our card so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
grab a couple of these inners. And this is certainly something that you absolutely do not have to do. And let's see, do I want the A and And I just noticed, let me pop that little unit to grab some glue. And I'm going to just do those ones in particular. And then I think for that flower up there, I will just look at my embellishments really fast and just see if there is anything. I think I have a couple of gold little um, dots that I can put there. I think that just gives it a little something. And I may go back and do these few here in a little bit. I'll have to decide about that. Let me grab my little embellishments here. Okay, so I just have these little dot stickers from Michaels that I purchased. And let's see, they're not overly sticky, but I think one right there in the middle would be good. So I'm just going to add a tiny little dot of glue. And I'm just going to put that right there in the middle. They're almost like, they're almost like puffy stickers. They're kind of fun. All right, I think that is definitely better. So this is our finished card. I think it looks great. The foiling did a nice job. And... Okay, let's bring in all of our projects and we can just determine how well the foiling did, which ones we like, which ones we would try again, which ones we would not try again. Okay, so here are the little projects that we did today. And just a recap. So this is the card that I tried right before filming and just to get a feel for how the tool worked and overall, I'm pleased with the foiling job, but I do feel like I'm going to go back with my little silver glitter pen and just kind of finish off the Mary and the Christmas. And so this was done at default pressure. I do think that the more pressure seems to work a little bit better. I do think it did a good job. So this was our first card and it's just an A2 size card. And then this particular envelope, um, I got the placement incorrect on this first try. So I'm just going to go ahead in with my glitter pen and I will write a, like, let it snow or something like that. And then this will be a card that I can give out at Christmas time. These two tags. So with these two tags here, I think the tags did really, really well. Now, I will tell you that if I were to do this again, I would probably not use the pre-fabricated tags for a couple of reasons. One, I did feel like it was harder to match the pressure needed and just getting all of the materials onto the mat. I would probably just let my Cricut cut a tag with the hole and then I would add my own string. So I think these particular tags right here are better for um, vinyl and maybe print and cut images, just something a little bit um, user friendly, but they're still good tags. So these I think did a great job. All right, this one's kind of hard to see. It's, it's purpley, but it is very pretty. And then we had the, just the regular sticker paper. 
and that you would normally use for like print and cut on your other machines. And what I did is I had the three circles. I foiled each of them. Now this one in particular didn't work so well. So this would absolutely just go in the bin. No big deal. These two actually did quite well. And what is surprising to me is that I chose um, adhesive backed paper and without realizing what I was doing when I when it cut the circle it actually did just the right amount of pressure to create that kiss cut so that's a little interesting feature I may have to do a video on um, Cricut Joy stickers I think I might have found a tiny little workaround. I'll have to think about that. So that might be one of my next videos, is making some stickers like this. Um, I don't know, we'll have, to, we'll have to think about that. So I thought that was interesting. Okay, so then we had our stickers and those seem to do okay. And then finally our last card, which I think our last card was probably the best project out of all of them. So um, this worked really well. It foiled the front just the way I wanted. It cut everything away. I put my gold panel on the inside and it's just really, really pretty. So I'll be putting my um, logo thing on the back here. Now the envelope is really, really light. And, um, you know, I think probably this is because I chose the wrong material and it didn't have enough pressure to get all of it down there. You can see it. Um, this is, it, it's just really light, but it still did the job. I will probably still use that envelope just because I don't like to waste materials. Or I may go ahead and find some really cool Christmas sticker and put that on the front. That is to be seen. But here we go with our projects. I would say overall that I do like this foil transfer kit. I am very glad that I purchased it. And I'm glad that I did get the extra foil sheet so I had a little bit of variety in color. And I'm looking forward to continually um, finding new ways to use the foil kit with my joy and different projects and just getting, um, I guess, getting better at the tool. So I would say for a first time newbie using the foil transfer kit, I'm overall quite pleased. That's all for today's projects. I think these turned out really, really well, and I'm very pleased with my purchase of the foil transfer kit. I'm looking forward to learning more and doing more projects with this particular um, item. Also, go down in the comments, not only which one was your favorite, but how would you use your foil transfer kit um, what projects do you think you would try? That would be great to know. And as always, don't forget to like and share this video with your crafty friends. And if you haven't already subscribed, love to have you as a subscriber. So go ahead, click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when the next content is posted. New content coming up soon will be a couple of tiny little Christmas decor crafts and definitely just some regular crafts that I am super excited about sharing with you. So until I see you in the next video, as always, enjoy your summer days and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.